Today's video is all about the green peppers. We are going to have stuffed green peppers, but not just any stuffed green peppers. These are Randy's absolute favorite stuffed peppers because I actually used another recipe to make this, and it's called Heavenly Meatloaf. And that is his absolute favorite meatloaf. So I'm going to combine two of his favorite meals to make one. It is going to be so good, y'all. It's easy. You know, all you need is one pound of beef to easily probably feed five, six people. At least four. At least four. It is just the bomb. Let's get started. Out here, you know, in the deep woods, as Randy says, you know, we really aspire to good, simple living, good, wholesome, homemade meals. We don't go out to eat. We just use what we got. And I make sure that we have what we need so that we don't have to trip drop back and forth to the store all the time. So let's go ahead and get this started. We're going to start with the the base, we're going to make the meatloaf first, and then we're going to make the sauce that goes over the meatloaf. So, we're going to need one pound of hamburger, which is, I already have it measured out because that's the way I pack it, or usually try to. We're going to put that hamburger in that bowl. We're going to put one egg in that bowl. Voila, one egg. That's my egg. <laughs> one cup of milk. One cup of salt. I use saltine crackers. You can use whatever kind you want. But I like saltine crackers. And we're going to put a little bit of minced onion in here. About two tablespoons. Gonna put a little salt to taste. Little pepper to taste. Gonna put a little bit of butter. I know y'all are thinking, what are you doing? But trust and believe me, putting that butter in there and that milk is what makes that meatloaf so, so good. All right, and I'm just going in there with my hands. I'm not wasting my money on gloves. I wash them before I get started, and I'll wash them again when I get done. All right, but you see how that just comes together, just like that, doesn't take but a second. You really don't want to overwork it. You just kind of just want to make sure it all gets incorporated together and you are good to go. Okay, and now I'm going to take that meatloaf mixture and I'm going to pack it down into those peppers. And I'm going to pack it good and tight so everybody gets a good, fair amount of meat. You know, actually, if you wanted to, you could consider this low carb. Because other than those few little carbs from, you know, a cup of crackers, which is like 10 saltine crackers spread across six peppers, you're really not getting that many carbs. And like I said, this recipe exactly makes six. I may have to take a little bit out of that one, but right at it. Okay. Now we're going to get started on that sauce. Now we got to make our sauce. So we need a half a cup of white distilled vinegar, a half a cup. A Worcestershire sauce, a half a cup of ketchup, 
Bang, bang, bang. And one can of either stewed or diced tomatoes, whichever one you have. I just like dice for this. One tablespoon of sugar. That cuts the acidity on those tomatoes. Little bit of salt. Not too much because I've got that Worcestershire, which is basically salty. So if you didn't, you know, if you're watching your salt, don't put any. Little bit of pepper. We're gonna give that a good mix. Just make sure that ketchup's all incorporated is pretty much all we're doing. Now, since we are cooking our meatloaf or our stuffing in that bell pepper, I'm only gonna use a half of bell pepper in my sauce. If I was making my meatloaf, I'd use a whole bell pepper and one whole onion. And I'm just gonna drop that in there. Add a good stir. And then we're gonna pour that all over our peppers. Here we go. Now I gotta be really careful with this so that I don't make a total mess. But I'm gonna pour this all over the tops of my peppers and all down the sides. Randy couldn't just let me cook four. He had to have me make six. Uh, all right. We've got plenty of room in there. I can do this. All right. Now all that's left is to put this in a 350 degree oven for an hour. And then we'll be back and finish it off. Boy, this is heavy, y'all. That is a lot of food for a little money. All right, and when my hour's up, we'll be back to add the final ingredients. See you then. Now, the last thing you're gonna need is just some kind of cheese. Whatever your favorite is, that's what you put on there. Usually, most of the time, I'll put cheddar, but Randy said he'd rather have like a Parmesan blend, so that's what we're having. But anything will be good. Uh, Annie's wanting me to drip it between the peppers, which you don't need to do, but there you go. All right, we're going back in the oven for about five minutes. All I want to do is just melt that cheese. Wait till y'all see this. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. I'm starving. All right, y'all, let's get this plated up. And then all that awesome Sauce. I'm gonna put all that on the side and, and Randy wants it on the top and it's his dinner so there we go all right <laughs> oh that is simply amazing mm -hmm. I know this is gonna be way past delicious. This is going to tantalize my taste buds. Mm -hmm. I just know it is. Well, yeah, because that's what he asked for. Yeah. <laughs> good thing we made six of them. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye.